What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. All right, uh, BFF's another episode, special guest, Remy Bader. Welcome, Remy. Thanks whoop, for whoop. having me. Did someone just say something? Whoop, whoop. Oh, you I, I was just, I was just giving like, she wanted us to be excited and giggle and shit. Yeah. So I was like, oh, yes. I'll add a little like, Thank whoop, you for doing whoop. that. You're very giggly. You're I appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Before we get into this one, I feel like this is maybe a one or two in BFFs where I, I think I know Remy better. I know the guests better than the other people, I think. So Remy and I, I what do you say? We're friends, acquaintances? We're what friends. What do you say, Remy? I would think okay, we're friends. Okay, friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd qualify That's it with that. Yeah. yeah. So it's usually I don't know the guests. This time I do. Before we get into that, um, before we started, Bree, you said I look like a dork with my haircut. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> well, I've never seen you have like wet, slicked back hair before. So you look it's like kind of nerdy. It's not slicked back. It's uh, we. I'm shooting a commercial here, and there's no gel. It's just out of the shower. Well, and it I, is. It's slicked back. It's with slick the though. It looks like you. It well, looks like if you touched it, it would be rock hard. I like but it. But it's just wet. Thank you, Remy. That's mm -hmm. why we keep the. What do you think of Josh's haircut? Which I think I did hear you look. Young now, younger. That's what a lot you of people are saying. You do look younger. It's not a bad yeah. thing, but you do look younger. All right. <laughs> Keep that not what, Yeah, not what you're going. You, how old are you now, Josh? <laughs> I'm 20. Yeah, that, that puts Big you boy. back to 16, I think. Oh, I wow. Feel like, yeah, that's a back lot to of the years. eye roll days. I think no, everyone come looks on. shorter. It's not that bad. I mean, shorter. <laughs> everyone looks younger with a haircut. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, different, maybe. Anyways, now I thought it made my shoulders look a little broader because I don't have as much hair on my yeah, head. Yeah, that now, too. You know? Yeah, evens you out Here. a little bit. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Let's get into Remy. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Remy. Um, and then we'll go through headlines and through our normal thing. So it, to me, uh, did you guys know? I know, Bree, you did. You knew exactly who Remy was, right? Mm -hmm. Before yeah. Before she came on. Did you, Josh? Um, I didn't know exactly. I don't think I knew exactly who you were, no. No. So Remy, you describe yourself, and then I'll see if I agree with it when you're done. Describe elevator yourself. pitch us. Okay. Well, give us the elevator pitch yeah. if people don't know who you are. Um, mm -hmm. I started on TikTok in 2020 um, because I lost my job during COVID. Stop staring at me. Um, I lost my job <laughs> Who's during staring at you? my publicist. She's like, who sat next to me, by the way, at Surf Lodge and said that I wear my jeans too skinny, which I resent. Yes, she did. And I almost want to throw her overboard, but I let yeah, it Yeah, she's slide. really honest. Um, okay. Well, oh. and, and incorrect, but continue. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> lost my job during COVID, so I started making TikToks. Didn't really think it would go anywhere, and um, it did what I do specifically, or how I started was doing realistic hauls, where I would buy a large amount of clothes from a specific retailer, and instead of trying it on and just showing the good, which everyone does, I would also show the bad, kind of make it funny, make fun of myself, and um, it kind of took off from there. Now it's my full-time job. Um, I just... Um, launched a clothing line with Revolve, which this shirt's from. Um, and it's their fir the first line that they're doing with extended sizes. And um, what else am I doing? I'm partnering with Pink Victoria's Secret. So I'm their brand ambassador and size consultant, also helping them extend sizes. So um, something that was kind of, you know, I guess depressing at first, lost my job, didn't know what I was doing, turned into a very exciting thing and now doing a bunch of fun stuff. Okay. It's a pretty good elevator pitch, I would yeah, say. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, so, and, and to give the background, I think the first time we met, this may be surprise people, you came, you introduced yourself. Mm -hmm. um, Silvana knew exactly who you were, like big fan. And you actually said, like, you want to work at Barstool. I did. I, in the beginning, I remember, like, I had very much the mindset of, like, knew what Barstool was, knew who everyone was, but, like, you definitely didn't have my sort of, following i would say mm -hmm. obviously like my following is like 98 percent female and obviously i mean all different body types but i'm talking about like you know different stuff so yep. um i just was like i think at that point in the beginning i was just trying to figure out like where am i gonna go what am i gonna do with this like the world is my oyster and i was like yep. okay that would, i i came on someone's podcast here but no it was before that i was just like oh my god it would be so cool to do something with Barstool since that's not like, you know, what they're doing. And, and I then feel I like told that was, you that. Yeah. yeah, the precise moment 
that you started and you were already kind of getting big. But since that moment, which I don't know, was that a year ago? That was exactly that was like a year ago. We met at Surf Lodge, and I guess yeah. I was like a little drunk because I walked right up to you and started saying that. I guess <laughs> you, you did, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> "Who is this person?" And since then, it's you're everywhere. Like I would describe you for people who don't know as like a very and it could last like it person right now. Thank like you. I, yeah, and I feel like which I have a question. Everybody wants to be around you, associated with you. And like in your video, except Josh, because you- he doesn't know. I'm sorry. Now I do. <laughs> now after that, after that elevator pitch, I just want to. Yeah, be Josh is all about but, it. Now. But you have like serious clout right now in terms of I. I don't even mean it with like doing the the modeling or the Victoria. It's just like you're in these inf- like you're the influencer of the moment. It seems like in a lot That's of respects. So nice. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. But I have a follow up. Okay. Do you think people are using you for clout? Oh, I'm sure. The the good thing about me is I'm very aware. I haven't even looked at you once. That was so rude. <laughs> um, I think I'm very aware of like who's fake and who's not. So mm-hmm. I, I I am friends with all. And I feel like I was so excited when I first got into this space. Like I was just like, oh, my God, I want to be friends with everyone. Like this is crazy. Why? Like I don't even know how this is happening to me. But like I'm definitely like aware of what's, yeah, what's going on and who maybe is there for the right reasons and who's not. Especially because lately. Dave are, Dave, are you seeing people use her? Is that why you bring it up? <laughs> I, 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 well, I follow her. Do you have her, like suspicions? Do you have yeah, suspicions? I know something. Yeah, I don't has know. a hunch on something. No, no, I don't know anybody <laughs> in particular. But it's almost like what we talked about back with you, Josh, in like L.A. as like everyone needs to create content. Everybody mm-hmm. needs to stay in the news. Everybody needs views. And right now, like – She's a girl that I feel like it's automatic views and everyone like cheers up and it's just la di da da happy. And sometimes I wonder, it's like, I don't know what it, it's it's she is that person you sent around for a while. Where it'd be, I'm not saying the same level, but the Addison Rays of the world, you know, you have somebody who's like an anchor in a world and everyone's just trying to latch on and and get some shine from it. So, yeah, okay. I have some hypotheses. It sounds like she yeah. does, too. I think that just last year at this time, it was just all like didn't need to think anything of it like just was so excited and then obviously is the past few months and you know things like happen and I start you know I'm looking now I feel like a lot of these people are my friends you know once you're friends with people for like a year so I would expect a lot of what I give and I care about my friends a lot in return um and then when I start to not see that I'm like oh maybe they just you know are using me for other reasons so at least I know that just trying to say as cordial as possible self-aware I also think you're like, and, and I, I obviously follow you because they're friends, but I don't pay Uber, Uber. Yeah. No, I feel sure. like you come across as a lot. Well, this wasn't going to sound right. What is it? It's okay. Say. I can take it. A lot nicer online than you are. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> Wait, like, I, I didn't mean that. I, I didn't Rubby's mean that. Rubby's a bitch in real what life. No, no, no. <laughs> I meant that as a compliment. I meant that as a compliment. In what like, way? When I've met you or been with you in person, you're a very sarcastic, yeah, like edgy. Yeah, when he's with you in person, you're just an absolute bitch. <laughs> More <laughs> like me, an like awful that person. I, no, I think he, that's why she's like the Barcel. It's like she has a very cutting sense of humor. Is what I vibed, and like I right. kind of vibe with that, and that's why we get along. Whereas, like the halls, you see it, but a lot of I see is like a happy go lucky, and it's like right. You, you're, I think, a lot edgier than maybe the online person yeah no gives I off. get what you mean I think that I I am someone like I don't know how you guys are with people and comments whatever but I look at everything I like really try not to but I do and um I think when I see certain I think I try and stay maybe a little more positive sometimes or something like maybe I have more of a sarcastic bitchy humor and stuff but I'm not going to put that into my hall sometimes like I I don't know it's hard because it's like I don't want to get shit on all the time so i think it's a mix of like that is me but i think that it's hard to i don't know i don't know it's just like so i i nicer i knew i wasn't saying it correctly like i know but i get it now makes sense towards like east coast like assholey vibes right and i think i know remy kind of has that but it it doesn't always which again a lot of people do that that's what i meant when you know so it's like oh I, I know she probably wants to say other things. That's I think all I, I also can, like, stand up for myself. And, like, I th- sometimes that sass is coming out more and I've more. I've seen because you clap I'm, back on Yeah, like, I'm just form. sick of it. You know, like, I'm just kind of, like, I, I – this is me. Like, I'm kind of tired of people finding any possible reason to – 
which they do with everyone on social media. Mm -hmm. Like, just, like, yeah. be, like, you're doing something wrong. And I'm just so over it that, like, even last night I just, like, commented back on, like, any possible <laughs> thing someone was saying, I was just, like, going right back at mm -hmm. it. I'm like, I'm enough. Like, just get a life. But, yeah. <laughs> How was Caller Daddy? <laughs> it was great. I've been getting, like, crazy positive feedback. She was great. Um, I feel like it was nice to have, like, a platform like that to just, like, talk about everything where I feel like that showed a lot of like not just what was on TikTok in my videos you know talking about it all um it was I, I loved it did you listen no you're busy no I I didn't listen to call her daddy when we owned call her daddy it was like <laughs> I the only I think the only call her daddy episode I listened to was the one I was on right. because I'm like a narcissist you? like I've watched you're clips. The busiest. I watched clips I watched clips I haven't listened to call her daddy before either oh yeah never no, not really my thing. Really? Yeah. Like, what that's about it? Is it your thing? Yeah, well, like surprising. when it was big, it was like a sex podcast, and I just, I just didn't really like it. Just don't fuck with. But sex. I like it now. It got better. <laughs> that's why I okay. liked it. I think then, it's like a real. But podcast But I do now. like now that it's like a lot of everything. Yeah, instead exactly. of just that, you know. So um, you've attended the Met Gala, which is like I no, want to do. No, I have not. I would love to, but I <laughs> attended the Oscars. Yeah, that's what it was. I saw the sheet, actually. It did say Oscars. Oh, but all I know right. that you want to attend. Dave really Met wants Gala. to go to the Met Gala. No, well, yeah, I got misled a little bit. I guess I didn't look at it exactly, but it's like uh, Remy I mean, and Instagram. In no, it's no. It in says, bold, it says the Oscars. Do I no, but flip, no. flip to the next page. <laughs> oh, Met Gala after party. Whatever. You're right. Never mind. Yeah, Met Gala after party. I'll give you a slide. Yeah. I'll give you a slide. Okay, you're right. right. After party, but I, I wasn't cool enough to go there yet Hopefully i'm surprised mm. you seem like that would be an invite you'd get i don't know maybe yeah. the next Kate, one hopefully you can work on that one <laughs> yeah what's what's can you ask her why i would think a good public they invited get like that job done <laughs> they invited yeah. like two skinny jean hater tank a chin. <laughs> yeah no it's it, it, and i'm um, do you agree with that that you're kind of like a buzzy it girl right now do you feel that or is it weird when it's you I would never call myself a buzzy it girl, but I do <laughs> I do think that I'm definitely getting like I think I think it's hard again. I'm like not trying to make it negative, but I think it's hard when I'm always seeing positive and negative. It's like I, you know, did the whole Victoria's Secret thing that went in stores and it was such an exciting thing and two days later it's like getting shit for that for some reason like it's just what do you mean getting shit for yeah, that why like, why'd you get shit because, for it? because Victoria's si Secret with plus size like basically? why are why is she in every mall on there when they don't actually you know they should be selling bigger sizes than they already do but like i do fit into the sizes that they sell so it's not a lie but like there's just like there's always an opposite side but i do feel like it like runs like they'll just be like you know when i first came out with the revolve line i announced that it was going to be up to a 3x and i got like shit for days of like you sh it's better you should have done nothing than just go to a 3x that's not inclusive you're not doing enough and like i had a push to go to a 4x so it's just like there's always something so it's like yes i want to be like wow this is great i want to be like i try to be present and i'm excited that all these things are happening but i definitely get like pulled down very easily because i'm sensitive from all the, like the negative shit that i just feel like is kind of constant but like i remember talking to you and you saying like you just like you're like, yeah, it doesn't get to you. That's no, for Dave. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. And everybody's different with that. For the most part, mm -hmm. I've never been bothered by hatred. You're also in doing something that I, I don't, I, controversial is not the right word, but you're no, always yeah. going to get both sides of it. Mm -hmm. And that's almost what I've seen with you. Like, do you wonder, like, for, again, I met you before you kind of totally blew up. I, like some people may think of you as a model like that. I, I think of you almost I came across in the beginning more of like a comedian than a model. And it was more almost maybe when you're like, I'm interested in BFF. So to me, uh, it's not BFF Barstool. Yeah. That almost is like, oh, she she wants to be like kind of funny. But we that's try to a hire, thing. Like, I think everyone's been trying to put me in like some sort of box mm -hmm. since I started. Like, how are you a body positive role model when you say some days you don't like your body? I'm like, I never said I'm a body positive role model. Like, it's just like, just because I'm a bigger girl, like I've been told, like, am I a plus size model? Oh, she's not pretty enough to be a plus size model. Like, I didn't label myself as anything. This just kind of happened. So, um, I don't know. But like, I'm, I'm, yes, I do think it's like a little bit 
I guess you could say there is definitely a different word, but controversial because not everyone agrees with being overweight and putting yourself online and embracing that and all this stuff. Obviously, you, I'm sure you saw the stuff with like the horse ranch and stuff too, that that happened. Like it's like that there was two sides to that too. It's just like, you know, some people were like, good. What was the you horse ranch thing again? Is that like when the someone was on a horse and it like, well, fell, someone like it collapsed it or no, something? No, <laughs> no, 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 oh, no. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Um, that, <laughs> that was, uh, um, yeah, that was I went on, I went on a brand trip. <laughs> I collapsed talks, the yeah. horse. No, yes, um, <laughs> the horse did. <laughs> I went on a brand <laughs> trip in Montauk. Everyone was going on the horses. They told me that I could not go on the horse because I was too big, but they didn't tell me that in the beginning. And then later in the day, the son's owner posted on TikTok, like, we don't let fat bitches ride at our ranch or something. And I found the video and posted it. And it turned into a huge thing. And at huge. first, ever, yeah. yeah, like it was like on the news in Australia. Yeah. Like it was huge. So at first it was like everyone you know, like, good, she stood up for herself. And then all of a sudden it went to this other side, which is going to happen. But I just thought yeah. it was in a very weird way. Like, it turned into a very, like, political thing, too, where a lot of, like, conservative commentators were doing, like, talking about it and stuff. And I'm like, it was just very interesting. And then a lot of, like, animal lovers that were like, you love to abuse animals. Like, just, like, <laughs> it turned crazy. So, um, yeah, I think that goes to, like, there's two sides to the everything. And, and... I was going to bring that back like the the what you said about being political, even though it's as crazy as it sounds and people put me in all sorts of boxes with that. But like the Victoria's Secret stuff of having you like be a model or evolve, there is an element of people who will view that politically because they think it's like being forced upon society. So it has mm -hmm. nothing to do with you, really. But it, they'll be like, it's bullshit that Victoria's Secret can't do their catwalk show anymore with just like the angels and that they got to act like everybody and it has nothing to do with you but that is like a pc culture sort of battle that's going on and a little bit even with the horse thing um that that goes on i actually saw you i couldn't tell if you were mad at us you sniped at us you know during the horse thing what do you mean you you put like one of our guys wrote what i thought was a fair article about the Wait, he didn't know you. I think you're wrong. I I thought that article was I didn't post that article. I, I was like, oh wow, he ended up being kind of on my side at the end of it. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Who wrote it? Right, kind of. Yeah. I think Jerry Thornton. Yeah, it was so Jerry. He's, yeah, like uh, like and that's as you get bigger, people always write it. And I thought he had a pretty fair take on on the whole thing. But what was yeah. his take? What but, was his take? I the think take here, you go. No, you go. <laughs> okay, I'll go. No, I actually don't understand. Um, so Josh knows nothing. I think he was just showing everything that happened and that if I were – no, I don't remember. You said I it. think the take was this because there's an element that I think everybody would agree with. With any animal, it's like at some, it, 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 an animal can't carry – Right, right, right. Weight. I think everybody agrees with that. The, I think the gist of what was going on here – and whether it was right or wrong was the way it was handled. If it was I'm the way it was handled. It was how rude they were laughing well, at me. Like how and the, and the well, son, by the way, before. I think that's where it sounds the really sun, outside the to sun, me is the son. The son saying, time. yeah, like posting a TikTok and essentially making fun of you or like saying terrible words about you like online. That's where I think it's my That only yeah. validated my whole experience there when Correct. he right. posted that video and he's not even just works there. Like it was the family in the background. Like it's, like it's his like a ranch, family. Yeah. yeah. Like that just, that's what happened. So it wasn't, I understand like if I truly am told or was told you are just too big and you would hurt the horse. Okay, of course. I would never be like, I have to go on the horse. I don't even care about horseback riding. Like I, like I just was excited and on a brand trip. That's not what happened. And it was just the way I was treated. And I was very embarrassed. I usually don't get embarrassed. I'm usually just like, whatever. Or if I am embarrassed, I'll act like I'm not. Like, I was really shook. And then in addition to all of that, it turned into another thing because no one left with me. So all the other influencers that were there that I've been. That was my question. Yeah. That, so are, do you, are these people dead to you? They didn't even ride or die for you. Yeah, what no, the they, fuck? They, no, they rode. Yeah, they, they actually, rode. They actually yeah. did ride. They just, <laughs> wow, that's terrible. That's terrible. So, um, so I, Nobody even thought about leaving with you? Yeah, I think that, no, I left alone in an Uber. Like, I literally oh <laughs> called my, my sister, like, hysterically crying. Like, it was just, like, weird. It was just very fast, and it was, but they know what happened. I think that it just, yeah, some 
I got apologies, but the apologies were two days later after people started noticing and, you know, going after them on social media. Some of those people Jeez. I really felt were, you know, they had their own stories and situations that I understood more where others, no, I don't really talk to that much anymore. Got so, it. All right, good. Yeah. I, they'd be that. That's Remy. If I went to that horse thing and that happened, I would leave with you. I promise you that. Thank that's you. Me too. Dave, All that, three of us that's would. That's a Dave Portnoy guarantee. Um, <laughs> Thank you. But yeah. The, the or ride, I would steal a horse for you. Even better. <laughs> All right. That's, that's that's the new haircut, Josh. Yeah. yeah. That's young Josh. <laughs> the new guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm back to my medicine shit. Um, you met. By the way, your idol and one of my idols at a recent re uh, album release, Lizzo. I fucking love Lizzo. Oh, so you love Lizzo? Yeah, I'm a big Lizzo guy. She's great. I, I, she posted some crazy hot photos recently. The baby was commenting all over them. And she also does what makes, I think I've said before, whether it be any height, weight, set whatever she owns it and she's so confident yes. that it's very very attractive yeah yep. she's great she was she's super talented and she like couldn't have been nicer so she knew exactly who you were i mean her team told me that i i feel like i never know like i don't i was like no she doesn't there's no way but when i did walk up to her she said keep doing what you're doing we need you so so she knew yeah, yeah. i think like I always team. ask when there's like people like that. I'm like, do you? I, I'll try. Do you to know ask who like I am? That. Yeah. Or not? Not just that. Like a question that they can't just answer. Be like something very specific. Like, well, like, do you know how we started? What it was? Whatever. Yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, we got some games for you okay, before cool. we get into headlines. Sick. All right, guys, quick commercial break. So if you haven't heard of Whatnot, it's a live stream auction app where you can buy collectibles, comics, and really almost anything else. So they bring businesses and people together through commerce where sellers can host live streams and engaged connoisseurs like yourselves can bid in real time. So with live streams happening 24 seven, you never know what you'll discover. And now Barstool is on What's Not's newest seller. So we'll be going live twice a week on Whatnot, running live shows and selling never before seen auction items and Whatnot exclusives. So so create a whatnot account using the link in the description and get ten dollars off your first purchase and make sure you follow the barstool sports page to get alerted whenever we're going live there's going to be a tons of stuff going on there 24 7 live streams make sure to check it out on uh whatnot let's get back to the show we got who wore it better first fun <laughs> who makes the games um uh, her name and, is Devin. Oh. i had no involvement in this one <laughs> So games. Who, so I assume we're going to see people who are wearing the same thing, and then we have Correct. to pick who wore it better. I believe. Yes. This is Bree's Hence idea. the title. Yes. First one. That ain't the same. That isn't. What? Well, these are two different dresses. <sighs> okay. Kate's so like Addison pointing to say the answer. <laughs> um, Dixie. Is that all I say? Just the name? Yeah. Who are you wore it better? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm okay. stunned. The, oh, black staples. I mean, they're also like different Dixie's dresses. Dress better. They, I think I think Addison. I like I Addison's like dress too. They're just different. Th this is a vicious game. These are two. <laughs> these like my two like. Yeah, and TikTok I like them stands. both. So don't do this to me. I'm. I think I'm going Addison, but just because I don't like those like Batman points on Dixie. You oh, know, I like, like the Batman points. I think they're giving Catwoman vibes. Catwoman, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. with the yeah. gloves. Yeah. Two different vibes. Oh, it's not a bad look. Gloves. It's a great look on both of their parts. Yeah. All right, I'm sticking. I, I like, I like Addison, I'm going though. Addison. I'm going yep. Addison. Ooh, oh boy. Huddy or Landon Barker. Well, I have to go Landon, Landon. Barker, yeah. What I don't, do you like, that, go, I don't like that collar on the Huddy. I don't know something about that. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like gotta, his jacket. I like Huddy. I like the little zebra. <laughs> I think I got to go Landon on this one. Yeah, I'm going Landon. Wait, what? He has his own line? He does. Boohoo, man? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Ooh, looks shit. like it. He's probably maybe. that's probably all he's. Or wearing. maybe it's like Boo Man just sponsored like his like a party or no, like but a his name party or something. He probably is like a little yeah, it's a, it's a line. Yeah. yeah, something. Is it? He has his Damn, own. Okay. Wow. Fuck. That's how cool. rich are you? How rich are you, Remy? Are you like rolling in it right now? <laughs> True. Like if you could yeah, put a number on you? your net worth, I like feel if you like could she, tell us how much money exactly you have in your bank. How much account, money did you make dollar. from your revolve? I feel collect. like she runs revolve. <laughs> it's like everywhere you look, it's revolve this, revolve that. I know. Wait, what am I supposed to say? Just like how much money? Just say I'm filthy now. fucking rich. <laughs> 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 yes, she's rolling in it. Things are going well for me. <laughs> yeah, understatement. <laughs> Again, oh, different I can colors. Sue or Paige. Different colors. Oh, this is Love Island, right? You love Love Island. Yeah, like this is all I think and care about. Um, but I actually like Paige. Don't. 
I love Ekansu more, but I think Paige looks better in this. Yeah, what is up, Paige? What Ekansu <laughs> is her her name? Yes, she's like Whoa. everyone's fate. Do you watch? No, I don't. Do you not like shows like that? Mm, I do, but I just I don't I really, really watch. I really want you to. Okay, I'll I'll watch it for you, and I'll think of Ek- you. This and season was just everything. Okay. Very good. This is literally the same dress. Yes. Yeah, but for some reason it looks a little more like gothy on Ekansu, like something about I don't know. But yeah, Paige looks better. Well, it's different colors, obviously, right? Right. All, okay. Yeah, very well, very perceptive. I'm Thank going. You. Thank you. I think I'm going. I think I'm going Ek and Sue. Dave is nah. saying everything the opposite. I'm saying. <laughs> I think Paige. We got Charlie D'Amelio and Maddie Monroe. Same outfit, pretty much. <laughs> Charlie. Um, Charlie. I just wish it was like a little like lower, like sexier, you know. But yeah. I. But Her I. Pants she are better. looks good. And everything. Uh, I'm. Wait. Do. Oh, I was like, I don't know who that is. I do know who that Maddie is. Never mind. I'm going Charlie. Yeah. But it's close. It is. Yeah. The white shoes were too good. Suit look. Kim oh, K or hun- Kylie. Hundred percent Kim. I loved that dress. I actually love that. What is that? Balmain dress. Um. But Kim looked insane that night. Kylie looks like she's in Avatar. <laughs> I kind of like Kylie's better. No. Boo. No, I can kind of side with you there, Brie. Yeah, I don't know. It's like Cinderella. Yeah. Oh, that's that's all of it. Yep. Game's over. That's that all. Is. Well, we have one more game. Fuck, Mary kill. No, we don't. Nice. Oh, no, oh, we don't. We no, mean, we don't. Uh, no, we don't. No, we do. I got, I got left the sheet. sheet when yours is printed. It shouldn't have been on there. Okay. Then that's right. the only uh, game we have. Why didn't we make that for me? <laughs> that was know. a backup game. It's always backup, yeah. Time. But we have headlines for you. Yeah, we do have headlines. Let's go through. Let's go so through. if you've seen the show, Remy, all we do go through what we think are the big like social media headlines of the week and just try to uh, make fun of everybody, basically. Am That's I supposed to like, speak? Yeah. Okay. Yes. You, give, you give us your takes on all these headlines. Yeah. Okay. Whenever you well, it's just free open forum. So uh, Dixie had her 21st birthday. Uh, it was in Vegas, family and friends. I guess the big news here was that Noah didn't go. So Noah took to... Uh, Twitter notes or notepad, which is always you have serious shit to say, oh, basic, yeah. <laughs> basically telling people they got to be nice, like no more meanness on social media. If you're mean, he's going to block you. What does he call his following? Yeah, like three different names, I think. for them. Noah's Nation, Bexters, or just anyone Ooh, that supports me. Yeah, I kind of like the last one. Just anyone who anyone supports, that supports me. me. I guess game. because people are ripping. I don't know. They must have been going after Dixie a little bit. But he says they're still together. Their work schedules prevented them in this case from doing it. Ugh, people are so prevented them from annoying. doing it. I mean, I'm is going this that big of a deal though? Yes. Yeah. Big deal. Big you're deal. not going to. You're not going to your girl's birthday. Twenty well, first. Twenty first birthday. That is kind of a big deal. Well, did he have but a big what if job he's like filming? Yeah. Isn't he filming a movie right now? Yeah. You, you take a day off. I don't Sometimes know if it works like that. Yeah. How many times do you turn 21? Once. I guess it's Thank one. Thank you, Austin. Yeah. You're welcome. That's the correct answer. Also, I'm going to say this. I get people being mean on social media, but I also like the way he talked in this a little bit, like. You find of it. Those who know me know I don't address much online because social media has given anyone and everyone a voice. That being said, no matter what I say, you can truly make true. But it's also why he's famous. It's also like why Barcel exists. It's why Remy is famous. All of us sitting here. I, I get being mean when you are the victim or not victim. The, the when people are coming at you, it sucks. But I, it's also like I, you weirdly to me, and this goes for everyone, signs kind of a social contract. It sucks, but like people are just mean online. That's yeah. never going to go away. Yeah. No. You can't block everyone online that's mean. No. And it's never going to stop. A blo- I'm a big blocker. That, it's healthy to do that. It's just like, why are you looking at my stuff if you don't like me? But do you get mad? Are you like, oh, man, it's unfair that people are being mean to me? No, I just think there's like levels of it where it's like have your own opinion, but don't tell someone to like go kill themselves. Like I think there's right. different levels. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I don't think we're endorsing people to say to others oh, go kill themselves. I, know, I think it's more just like you kind of can't avoid it. it, right? Yeah, and then yeah, I think like, you make the decision if you want to like respond like he did, or if you want to pretend Ignore like you it. never see anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I do. I do find it weird he didn't go to the twenty first birthday. I feel like in this. I, I, I don't know. I feel like that's a very 
big, Birthday big, party. big thing. Maybe he and just I, had a really good way, job. He could have had a huge, massive job opportunity or something. Yeah, I, I'm also skewed because Silvana, like birthdays are quite important. Like <laughs> some quite, people don't quite. care about birthdays. I care about mine, but some people are like, I don't care. I don't care about mine, but like I, I yeah, know maybe some so. People, you just have it in, drilled in your head that if you didn't yeah, go do, to a maybe. birthday party, it would be bad. Maybe. Um, it would be big like, time bad. What do you yeah. think about your birthday? Like, do you care? I don't really care about. I like to like go out to dinner with my friends. That's about it. So if your boyfriend didn't show up to your birthday, you'd be like, Meh. well, I never have birthday parties. I don't really like that. What if you didn't show up to your dinner? Mm, I'd be like, why didn't you show up to my dinner? Okay. But then like, see, there, was, there was some was attitude a... in that tone. There was like a little. Well, yeah. Attitude there. Yeah. <laughs> I would be. Yeah, and I think I think there's if the, the communication's so great, let's just hypothetically be like 21st birthday. Hey, I can't make it this day, but I can make it like two days later. Maybe you just have your 21st. Oh I know yeah, it's that's not fair. the same. But I don't know. Um, they, but they say they're together, and Dixie said they're together. That the note made it seem like it's together. So no, I think they are. I think yeah. they're together still. Uh, Janet, Janet, Janet McCordy exposes Nickelodeon ex former iCarly star. Janet McCordy has been exploding, uh, having the launch of her new book. I'm glad my mom died. What a title! When she details Jesus. her abusive relationship with her late mother, pushed into her acting, Janet ended up taking care of her fi- uh, family financially at a young age. She goes on to basically say that. One of the creators of Nick's Nickelodeon shows at the time, Dan Schneider, made her drink alcohol followed by massaging her shoulders. He also forced her into bikini pictures. This is not a fun subject. No, no but this is like something that's been like pretty known, I think, too, right? Like yeah. Nickelodeon, like old child TV this. stars were always pushed to do like really messed up stuff. Like I saw a TikTok clip, I believe, like last week, and it was just like cut up of like, I think it was half like audition tapes that like Ariana Grande had to do when she was at Nickelodeon's and like just parts of their shows. And it was just like sickening stuff. Like as, as a little kid, you watch it and you kind of don't get it. Right. But like, as an adult, you watch it and you're like, damn, they were really making young kids do this and like filming it. It's kind of messed up. Yeah. Dan Schneider is a creep. He's done like a bunch of weird shit. And Jeanette McCarty like turned down half a million dollars so that she could talk about this. So that's why it's like a really big deal. Yeah, and I've never understood those. I don't think those stick like hush money things. Like, but I, I think know she they, could have probably taken the three hundred k that she was still offered, talked. and then just made the book. Yeah, I don't think knows. they could have really done anything, right? What they're uh, going to come out and say? Oh no, we paid her three hundred thousand dollars not to talk of about hush this. money. Yeah, yeah. like NDA. Make her look even worse. Uh, Monty Lopez versus Young Gravy continues. Monty, Lo- so I guess we're going to have Monty Lopez on the show next week. That's what we're hearing, which should be an interesting uh, twirl. Uh, Monty Lopez continues to antagonize Young Gravy, but Young Gravy is not taking the bait, telling Mo- Monty is acting immature, and if they cross paths, not to do anything stupid. This all stems on Young Gravy saying he wants to have sex with Addis's mom, Sherry, who was also flirting with Young Gravy online. So it's not like going behind back doors. And I guess... Young Gravy said he's going to send Sean O'Malley to go beat up Monty. Is this true? Yeah, if it comes down to it, he said that's what would happen. He incredible. would just send Sean O'Malley. I just feel bad for Addison. Like, none of this should be online. Agreed. Like, it's yep. wild. That's what we've all said. Young Young Gravy's like nine feet tall. Why would he have to send anybody to beat up anybody? He is nine feet tall. But he's, like, skinny. Yeah, but no, he's nine he's feet saying, tall. I think he's saying he would send someone else because Sherry told them not to fight Monty. So he's trying to respect Sherry's wishes. Respect his mouth. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, I understand. The whole thing's crazy, and I do feel bad for Addison. Although, yeah, I don't know. There's, I I don't know. It's not a good situation to be on, and they keep going public with it. Mm -hmm. Just get off. Just, just like text each other, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, This, I don't know why. I feel like we had a kind of weak week of headlines. Yeah. Army. Austin, you agreed that yeah. was like yeah. Army Hammer and his family new docu series teased. Don't really care. <laughs> yeah, who's Army Hammer? I he's know the, the guy. Name, but... He's the guy who was eating people. Yes, he wanted to like eat girls' legs apart, right, and just like tear yeah, them to shreds and eat them. Man. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa! Right, pause, 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 pause. Like he's just a cannibal. Yeah, he was yeah. a famous actor, and then it came out that he's just yeah. He was in a social network, show. and then there's a big series on. Um, a uh, 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 like expose on him. Uh, Is he just still like strutting around the world? He, he was like he in, in like, sex jam? rehab for a little, um, like this year or something. Like it's very like he knows that he is. Like, yeah. It's not even like he says no because so many people 
came out about it. So he knows he's fucked up. Yeah. Kind of mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And he wants to eat women's legs. Do you that's think that sex rehab can fix that? I, I don't, don't think that's he used a to, like, fixable ask thing. Ask my friend if he could like take out her ribs, and like it was huh. serious. Yeah. What do you respond to that? <laughs> well, I guess everyone just started posting it. Yeah, it was like your. How do you take out a rib? You can go to the doctor and get it taken out because you don't really need your ribs. You don't need all your ribs. You don't need I all your ribs. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I remember hearing like this story. Like I remember it was like a thing in middle school. There's a story about a dude that like took his rib out so he could suck his own dick. Yeah. Do you just like hang like down all the time if you don't have I guess so. <laughs> I think it's just like you're more flexible. Time like, out. Would you remove your ribs to suck your own dicks, guys? No. 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 <laughs> But I, I do it. think let's that was a question real. mark. Let's be for real. If every dude in the world could suck their own dick, they probably would. I think they would. I think they I'm would just being too. Honest. Maybe, I think they I'm maybe. being honest. I think maybe. if everyone, if maybe. everyone in the world could, it'd be like jerking off. Maybe, you know yeah, saying? maybe, right. maybe, you know? maybe. I've never thought about that way. But is that the, I, the, someone who literally took their rig out, rib out to do that? It's it's, yeah, it's yeah, a rumor yeah, about Marilyn Manson. It's like one of the most popular middle school rumors that go around. He's denied it like a hundred times. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think Josh it's is going to be the first to do it. I think it's real. Yeah. I think he did it. Did you know it was Marilyn Manson? Oh, I forgot that part, but I remember it being like a thing that would get brought <laughs> up all just the time. It was like school. some bro. Uh, <laughs> oh no, that'd be sick though. If someone in my middle school just took out their rib, yeah. that'd be dope. How does, <laughs> I don't even know how that whatever. I'm done with it. How that rumor starts? No, I how that 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 thing. helps you flexible. Not having a rib. Because then you can Look, like. Yeah, what do you, you can mean? Like, That's what's you like can, holding it, it you up here. All right? the way back. Like your rib is like feel, right? So it's like now you can like it could be like a contortionist a little bit. Ah. Yeah. All right. I think I think contortionists sometimes do it too. Yeah. I think probably. like you know those women well, that, that like get into boxes and they're like all like twisted up and Yeah, stuff. Ocean's Eleven or um uh Su uh what is that? The circus show? Circus Cirque de Soleil. Cirque de Soleil? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Cir- Cirque de Sue. Sir del Sue. <laughs> Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. So how would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life? That's how our brains work. So why don't we treat them in the same way? So there are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also BetterHelp online therapy. So BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat online therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with the therapist in up to 48 hours. So it's a super quick return. And like I said, you don't even need to turn the camera on if you don't want to. So if you're uncomfortable with seeing your therapist, you could just do a video chat. Also, if you're uncomfortable with going into a therapist's office and going one-on-one, this is the perfect thing for you because whatever is good for you, uh, BetterHelp will make it uh, work for you. So our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash BFF. That's better H E L P.com slash BFF. Make sure to take care of yourself with betterhelp.com. Let's get back to the show. Cardi B exposes Bella porch. This is what this one I saw. So Bella porch is the girl who has the most watched TikTok ever. Correct? Yes. The little baby face yep. one. Yep. Yeah. Where she's like, mm-hmm. yep. that little shit. Yeah. So she, she is launching a music career. And uh, she co- put comment on a post about a recent recent music drop saying better than any Cardi album. It turns out though that Bella is, followed Cardi B and had in the past DM Cardi B. Uh, Bella Porch had DM Cardi B saying, "Hi, I'm a huge fan of your music." It's kind of a snake move then to be like, <laughs> yeah. that's so hilarious. That's she so embarrassing. That. <laughs> yeah, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. How do you not go back and delete that DM? Yeah. No, yeah. That. Like, come on, cover your tracks. And why did she randomly just come for Cardi B? Strange. Mm. Cardi B is somebody I wouldn't come after either. No. Nah. Maybe nah. she just like wanted her attention and thought this would make them like friends. It didn't work out. Maybe. Mm. No, it didn't work out at all. I feel like that's a weird way to make friends though by Me dissing too. their entire career. Drake disses his dad's tattoo of him. Drake's dad got a tattoo of him. Drake is not happy with the outcome, saying, I was just sitting here thinking, why you like this we family. Do they get along, Drake and his dad? Yeah, they always post videos together, don't they? I mean, I think he's like posting the laughing emojis after, right? Like, if you see the yeah. actual caption, there's True. laughing emojis. So he yep. could have been like, he's just like, just kind of like, damn, balls. this looks yeah, bad. And balls. Yep. <laughs> it kind of looks like he has, I know it's not. But the shirt collar, the way it goes, it makes it look like he has a massive goatee, the shading. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it yep. does. I do know what you're saying. It does. I yeah, do it almost makes saying. it look like Drake is like an evil villain. Yeah, it also looks like Degrassi Drake. 
not yeah, it doesn't really look, look like, like, like him at all. No, it doesn't <laughs> look like Drake Degrassi. at all. He has like cousin Drake. <laughs> Uh, all right, some BFF stuff. Still softish, part two. Bryce and Josh T is going to Landon's house to record Still Softish, part two about Huddy. Is this happening? It was kind. Of, it was just a joke. Uh, like Bryce did text me. He was like, "Should we actually do it?" And I was like, "Man, it's kind of like kicking a dead horse." You know what I mean? Like Chase already got his girl taken. It's like I don't want to kick him while he's down. That's just messed up. Did you ask Landon to come on the show? Uh, we did. I talked to him at uh, Nessa's birthday party for like a good like hour about it. And he was like, he kind of kept tiptoeing back and forth. And then, you know, like Charlie would come in the room and then he'd like maybe change his tone a little and then she'd leave. And then it would go back to like being like, oh, maybe I will come on. So I don't know. I don't know. I think he would. I think he was just like, he didn't want to come on and then it'd be a show where it was just like, we're like, we fucking hate you. Or like, you were like, oh, I, I don't like you. Do that. I know. I know. I don't know why people think that. No. I, yeah. I, we, I we must have a bad reputation. Uh, for some reason, you I were nervous to come on too. I know. Why? I don't Remy. know why. I literally said I was like, I don't know. I was like freaking about yeah, it. Yeah, Remy texted me. I'm so nervous. I have anxiety but about like, it. I'm I like, wasn't why? nervous for like any of the other stuff I was doing last week. And for some reason, I was like, I'm nervous. Wait, you texted Bree saying you're nervous and not you didn't tell me you were nervous? <laughs> Wait, one, I don't have your number. Two, I we are friends. Yeah. Unless you told them differently. No, I said that we text all the time, but we've yeah. only ever met one time. Really? Yeah. Maybe I just feel like I know you because I like DM every story yeah. of yours or something. Yeah, we I always go know. back and forth. But we So wait, do you think you know her better than you know me? Like we, d I feel like we talk. We like more. talk. We've yeah. tried okay, to get fuck, together right. many this times, and then I think we. I'm wrong. Okay, fine. I'm fucking I think wrong. we just stopped trying to get together because, yeah, because we're always in different states. Yeah. Yeah. But like. Okay. I see D I Dave. <laughs> I've seen see Dave, Dave in person more. Anyways, right, yeah. 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 I should have DM'd right. you that I was nervous. Sorry. Uh, I, I'm surprised you'd be nervous. Me too. I'm fine now. It's fine. Yeah, it's Good. easy, right? Mm -hmm. Um this I've heard is something that we uh, are about to watch. Liv Dunn and oh, Josh fuck. read fan fiction. Uh we were talking about yep. this a little bit before the show. And I don't know what to expect, but I think it's going to be a little bit cringy. So let's maybe not live in Josh. Number one, uh, maybe Josh a little. Two. All right, let's see what we got. If I don't get you off at least twice, I will be like a ghost around the house. You'll hardest no hardly notice me. But if I do, you belong to me. Oh my God. I think you texted me something like that last week. Which part? <laughs> that whole line. Dude, I didn't. Gav, stop looking at me like that, bro. I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Yo, Matt, stop filming, stop filming. Yeah, yeah stop. You are? Do you? I mean, well, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I didn't. It was a joke. It was just a comedic joke. What? Just a comedic what? joke? You sure? I, even before we get there, what's fan fiction? I don't get it. I so know what it is. fan fiction is like essentially like on Wattpad, this like website. People will create all these like fake stories about influencers or famous people, celebrities, anyone that they like enjoy, I guess, watching on, you know, social media or TV or whatnot. But... It was an old thing we used to do in Sway. Uh, I, we would like read our fan fiction that fans would make about us and just kind of like cringe to it or like react to it a little bit. And I was like, Livy Dunn was over. We were going to film like a video where she was going to teach me gymnastics, but we did not have enough time before Nessa's party. So I was like, let's just do a throwback. We'll read her dirty fanfic. Got it. Here's the, uh, yeah, here's the longer version. She changed into her favorite pink bikini and walked downstairs. Hey, Kevin, I'm going for a swim. Want to join? She asked with a grin. He couldn't help but notice how good she looked. Their lips met and it was instant magic. The kiss quickly deepened and Olivia knew she would, have, she would have to pull back, but it was the best kiss of her life. Then without warning, she felt a jolt of pleasure course through her body. His hand massively <laughs> over her bikini bottoms. Oh wow, this guy's got a hand game over the bikini bottoms. Mastery man, at least you found the more As her mind, man. now her body had other plans. As if acting on their own, her hands pushed down her bottoms to give them full access. How long has it been since you had some good deep Way too long. And I don't think <laughs> the one time I had sex would count as a good deep <sighs> He barely got it all the way in before he finished. Yikes. So you better be fucking good. Otherwise, you were really just a waste of space who ruined my family. She whispered softly. I didn't hear you. He said a bit louder. How long are we gonna watch this? Yeah, I know. Why do we gotta keep watching? Can, can we cut this off? This is yeah. what makes me not want to do BFFs. Yeah, like, that was creepy a, and old. Yeah, that was like, weird. Josh, I, I know. Watched. We actually like 
I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a six, it's a 16 minute video. And, what, and were you going to literally no, let like, off like, if, like I, if I didn't say cut. stop, if I didn't say stop, we're we going to watch 16 minutes. No, I had 10 more seconds on that. Uh, yeah, Josh, right. I watched the other day like 15 times that video of like you doing that like thing. And I was yeah, my actually little... like cracking up at my phone. Like yeah. I had to keep watching. Give Remy yeah. one. Give Remy one. Yeah, sure. Uh, guys, guys. Please. Give Remy one. Come much on. Now. We're not making this come a thing. On. Every time people come on now, I'm doing it. Why? Bring it back. Come on. Yeah, bring, no, it back. I can't you, bring it back. You have the haircut and everything. Can you guys tell me? But what does it not mean? Doing it. What does it like mean that everyone's I screaming? don't even know. Like, it's like supposed it to be like, like a hot thing for younger girls. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. I guess it was. Like, it's like a know, WWE finishing move. Yeah. It's like fan fiction without the words. It's like a panty dropper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like the Elvis shake. Like, yeah. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would yeah. get me every time. Uh, that was gross. A lot of people. <laughs> what, what we just watched, what, we, like. I was uncomfortable. That's kind of the point of the video. Yeah, but there has to be consideration of the age gaps of me sitting here having to, like, and Austin's just going to let it roll. Who are these people who write that they should be in prison? That's what we yeah. were saying. We had to actually stop. How reading. old are they, though? Like you know, Usually, now. like, 12? 12. Yeah. Oh, just, oh. This is I know, wrong. they spelled, they spelled some words wrong, like. It's spelled like clut instead of clit. Uh, I feel like I need a funny. shower now. Videos yeah. to react to. We got one video and then we can mercilessly like, I don't know if I said that word right, but like get out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shot. I can see. Yeah. Here he is. <laughs> That was it's, very it's just so funny that yeah. she everyone's like, Yes, take the yeah. shot that <laughs> she's throwing. And that up. you're right. <laughs> I, I I think I created that. No, I didn't create it. What do you but mean? But that You created taking a shot? <laughs> no. Well You I'm created Kim K. Ah uh, I'm going to explain. <laughs> Maybe there was, dots. there was a much larger video out and I said, Hey Austin, can you combine this? So it goes right from her being like, give me a shot, yay, to her choking. <laughs> like, that is a condensed version. That's the that only video I've seen. And Austin, who created that? Well, me, technically. But it was your but idea. Told, <laughs> but it was your idea. Every, okay. That video that is everywhere was created by us. Mm. Too bad you guys didn't put a Barstool logo on the Well, program. I don't know that we can, like, put it on Kim K's. It actually starts. Silvana watched it, started cracking up. I'm like, what are you watching? I did it. I sent it. Did it bang viral? So it's it. That's where it came from. That's all I'm saying. I like so feel guys, what she feels. Like you know, when you take a shot, it just goes down. You're, the you're wrong super pipe excited, or and then you're like, it's like the worst. Oh, I don't think she's a big drinker. That's what everyone's like. Yeah. I hate shots. Yeah, I, me too. I, I but I hate do them. my. I rarely you do. like shots. No, I, I hate like them, but I'll do them. Yeah, I'll do them. Too. I like tequila shots. They're like the best. Gotta get drunk like. fast. It's annoying to right. like sip on a drink. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's a good philosophy. All right, uh, good way to start the night. Yeah. yeah, that's everything. Remy, what what can we look for you next? Like, what's next for you? I have the second drop of my clothing line coming out on September 8th. Um, Is it new clothes or the new same? New clothes. Mm. Would you like some? Yes, of course. Cool. You should do a photo shoot on a horse. I'm just saying, that would be a huge fuck you to that one. Yeah, like, I should ranch. do that, actually. That would be kind of cool. Awesome, that would be so awesome. That would be so awesome. I started awesome. doing clothing hauls based on hers. Oh, yeah, I remember. People were oh, sending me yeah. that. Yeah. They're like, oh, my God, Dave's doing clothing hauls. Loved yeah, I've it. done a couple of them, like vintage store clothing hauls, and your, yours were the first I saw. It's like, so... Thanks. Whatever else, I still we ideas we have a fuck Mary kill. It was made in the background. I haven't seen it yet, but if we want to play it, I mean, why not? Dave's like done. He's like, I'm over this. If you, I don't care. We can do it. Fuck Mary kill real quick. What does that say behind you? Don't give. Don't give up the ship. It's like an old Navy's thing. Oh. So I have a lot of people who come for me, and it's like sticking to your guns in the face of controversy, basically. <laughs> mm. Nice. But it's a very pretty famous, inspiring. like, pretty, very famous. It's like the basically the slogan in the Navy. Okay. Don't give up the ship. All right, guys, quick commercial break. Uh, do you wish your luggage didn't scream I'm on a business trip? Because it doesn't have to with Base. You can get chic, affordable travel bags and accessories that look good and are packed with function. So Base was created by actress Shay Mitchell to make more sleek and affordable bags, luggage, and accessories designed to help you travel effortlessly while looking fashionable. I actually have a Base bag. I have the Away bag. I have the uh, carry-on bag. And I have the huge suitcase. I get so many compliments on it. It's super functional and it's super cute. Also super affordable. So 
So it's thought of everything you could ever want in a piece of luggage. We have 360 degree gliding wheels, a cushion handle, built in weight indicator, washable bags for your dirty clothes and all the interior pockets you need to keep organized. So their luggage comes in multiple sizes and colors. And for shorter trips, the weekender bag is super functional and even has a place to store your shoes separately. So every piece is made to look better with miles. So if you don't have to worry about it in cargo or overhead. So the base has over 30,000 five-star reviews. Whether you're packing for a quick trip or looking for breeze through the security line, base has your personal items covered. All of my friends use base. I have base. It's seriously the cutest and most affordable and functional uh, luggage that I've ever seen. So right now, base is offering our listeners 15 per off 15% off your first purchase by visiting basetravel.com slash BFF. Go to basetravel.com slash BFF for 15% off your first purchase. That's B-E-I-S travel.com slash BFF. Let's get back to the show. Wait, was this like made for? This is made for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have Kit Keenan, uh, Lauren Wolf, at, or Bridget. Wait, this Long. is so bad. <laughs> Like, you, you're the me. one who requested it. <laughs> you did request. You it. literally requested. It. Why, why is this? Why don't bad? I get to play? Because they're want to. They're gonna be mad. Okay. Um, oh. Um. Is Kit is Kit Keenan a Hamptons person? Like she's Hampton City. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, I feel like Josh. That's like your type, right? She's very attractive. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Fuck Mary Kill. Um. Um. Are these all Hamptons people? No, they're like New York influencers. Um, okay. What's her Instagram like for a friend? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> her name's Bridget, right there. Mary, this is so bad. Lauren, I don't. Oh Are you killing God. Kit? Kill Honorary me. kill. Okay, we have Jonah, Jonah Hill, Andy mm -hmm. Sandberg, or Justin Prentice. Is there any did rationale you make, did for you this Did you pick group? these people? No, they just made it in the back. No, Dev, Dev no, took it as an insult that we didn't have one Someone has made. to, this had to yeah, be. Yeah, this is, this is made for you. For you, But like, yeah. how did you guys know I love Justin? That's so weird. I don't know. Okay, um, fuck Justin, marry Jonah Hill, kill Andy. Mm. What? I'm like in love with Jonah Hill. It's like a thing. I would what? marry Jonah, yeah, but I would kill Justin, I think. What? But also Jonah, I feel like wouldn't be loyal. So maybe You don't think Jonah would be loyal? No, I've heard he's not. <gasps> really? Who is Justin Prentice? He was he's on in, uh, He was like the bully rapist. He was a rapist, reasons, so I can't get past that. I know, but it's like not and what? him. <laughs> 13 13 reasons why. I love him. Not like a real life rapist. Yes. Uh, yes. No, I understood. I understood. Okay. <laughs> I, I, this okay, fuck Brie, marry Josh, kill Dave, <laughs> only because, you know, I can't say either of those I'm friends with your girlfriend, and it's it would it's not respectful. It's such a, it's a good uh, political yeah. choice. No, nah, so, it's all good. It's an absolute cop out. But whatever. <laughs> it sucks to suck, Dave. <laughs> like I, I mean, yeah, decapitated. Whatever. You asked for fuck marry kill. You got it. You, you did. Got it. You got you got what you asked for, Remy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you for coming on, Remy. Thanks I'm sure I'll see you soon. Me. <laughs> All right, see you guys whoop, later. Whoop. See ya. All right, bye. Bye.